Hey guys, it's Nega21 on Minecraft, and today, welcome for the, to the first day, or the first episode of Without Life Weekends, yay, yeah, it's right there at the top of you, don't know, but yay, alright you guys, um, well, let's get started, and this episode, if you guys did not have the uh, title or by the thumbnail, well, uh, today I'm going to be making a video, of post brewery right here, uh, about, uh, something that everyone needs help in when it comes to potions, you know, potions, uh, that's what they always need help in, unless there's some Minecraft expert that, uh, you know, just knows a bunch of stuff about Minecraft and just like, oh, I know what to make it to a potion. Blah, 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 Mr. Smart Guy over here. Alright, so uh, let's get started in. Right here is the first floor of uh, how for or good potions, and there's actually a second floor of potion of evil upstairs. So, yeah, uh, let's get started with uh, how to craft items. If you do not know how to craft items, I'm sorry, but you're retarded. Um, <laughs> Nah, I'm just kidding, you guys. Um, thank you for watching the video, by the way. Uh, if you guys have watched this, because a lot of people will go to YouTube to uh, watch uh, videos on how to do stuff, and potions is one of the uh, things one of Minecraft. All right, so you need three glass um, and make it into a V shape, and then you get three glass bottles, and um, you just uh, wait a minute. Yeah, and then you just go right here and just get up in the water and all that stuff. All right. And then if you want to make a brewing stand, which of course you have to do in order to make potions, if you don't know that, then you're retarded. You get three cobblestone, and then you have to go into the nether, but first you have to go to the nether and kill a base to get a blaze block. And I was on speed potion and on uh, potion strength, that's why you guys just saw the move right there. And okay, so that gives you a brewing stand. There are, I don't know if I'm talking fast, but uh, there are 17 potions, I think, and uh, probably more. I say 17 because I count the... Uh, the uh, number two ones. Uh, so let's get started. I already made them into awkward potions. Every single one of them, even the one upstairs, to cut time. Uh, let me just put this up here. So, uh, we to, uh, so we won't do that. All right. So the first potion is a potion of strength, and the next one is potion of strength too. All right. Uh, so potion of strength, you need one blaze rod, and you need to uh, craft it into blaze powder, and then just get these two. And um, in order to do that, we have to. Uh, damn it! Hold on, you guys. Alright guys, I'm sorry about that, it was more uncalling. Alright, so, um, awkward potion, you don't know how to do that. Like I said, you're, uh, retarded in the beginning. You're okay, so you get a warm water bottle, and then you have to throw another word in there, and then, you know, that's how you do it. You could also make other potions, like thick potions and all that stuff, but I think I'll do that after that. I like, uh, in a different video. So yeah, let's just start it. Alright, so, um, again. Uh, so in order to make potion of strength, you need one, uh, blaze powder, and then you just throw it right in there. And let's put in the other one, so I can show you guys how to make an extended version. And then, uh, well, we're going to turn both of these in, into extended versions, just so you guys can see. And we're also going to turn them into, uh, you know, different. It's not raining. It's not raining in Minecraft. The weather is clear. Now, I'm going to delete the stuff so um, it won't get in the way. And then if we need the stuff, you know, we, we won't need the stuff. Alright. Um, okay, so uh, they're done brewing. And we get this redstone and gun powder in here. And then uh, we just give one to each, and just uh, wait for that. All right. Uh, so the potion of strength uh, gives you uh, three minutes potion uh, when I don't know what I say a uh, lot. Uh, when you brew it, it gives you three minutes of uh, strength, and it uh, with redstone I save so much as I'm putting the menu to how much how much as I say. It gives you uh, three minutes with redstone. It gives you eight minutes, and then when you make it into slash potion, it gives you six minutes. So, uh, damn it, I keep saying, uh, uh, wait, pause again, you guys. I just have to. Uh, All right, guys, I'm back, and uh, you know the potion is up, uh, brewing. All right, and um, here we got eight, mi eight minutes of strength uh, potion. And I know I say a lot. I guess it's just because it's just because I get nervous a lot when I make these videos, and I just really hope you guys enjoy them. So. Uh, Damn it. So just uh, please don't mind that. I, I just say a lot, and I'm um, I will practice on that. I'm not saying um. Okay, so uh, they stop brewing, and then uh, you just throw this gunpowder in there, and it just starts cooking. All right. So for other potions, you can't use redstone and uh, and glowstone at the same time. You can only use one. So for uh, like these strength twos, and then uh, speed two, and then regeneration two, and all that stuff, and upstairs poison two, and all that. Some damage too. You can only use glowstone. You can use redstone on any of them or also which is the effect I think. I uh, haven't tried it out, but yeah. Alright. Um, so right here it made a uh, splash potion of strength and it's six minutes instead of eight minutes. So that's I guess that's what happens when you uh, when you get splash potion. And and um, 
Okay, and uh, right here we're moving on to Potion of Strength 2. And Potion of Strength 2, like I said, uh, you just get all these, um, you just get these, right, damn it, you just get these blaze powders and just throw them in there. I don't know why I just did that uh, in the first place. Alright, uh, then you get these glowstone and of course the gunpowder to turn it into splash potions. And then you just wait for them to cook and this one's almost done cooking. And uh, just to let you guys know, like I said, there's 17 potions in here. I already got them all set up. The, the potion to be able upstairs, which I might break it into um, it's a two-parter, but probably just have it a really long 15 to 20 minute episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it while you guys are doing this. I have back from music on. And my sound card came just in uh, the just talking stupidness while it's brewing and it's done. Alright, so you just add this glowstone dust. Uh, just take one and just add it. Like, you don't need redstone or else it's going to cancel the effect. And then right here, and then all you have to do is just uh, put, um, just wait for it to brew. I think I'll just do it with this one instead of that, and that one for the splash portion. And I'm sorry I'm talking really fast, but I'm just really trying to get through this episode uh, fast. My sound card came, uh, if you guys don't know, the, uh, my original subscribers. And if you guys are thinking of subscribing while watching this video, or you guys are just saying, oh my god, this guy's really boring. Uh, just wait and check out my videos, and uh, you guys will probably like it more. Just like a little ad uh, while these things are uh, like doing. And my sound card came, and I guess it, I guess it sounds better. I don't know, you guys uh, tell me in the comments. Okay. So these things are done brewing, and as you guys see, it's strength two. And then, uh, even though it's a minute thirty, it, it, uh, it's less. We got a gunpowder, and it's even take it down even more, as you guys know, for the splash potions. And that'll turn from one thirty to one o seven. And you know, that's all you guys know. Uh, just as a quick uh, heads up, uh, redstone is to uh, you can add it to any of these except for instant health, um, because uh, instant health is just instant health. It does not give you any uh, any any uh, side effects or anything like it doesn't keep on regenerating you that's why the potion of regeneration is there and the instant damage you cannot do that with it either so uh, those are the only two things that can be used for redstone and uh, let's just continue from there and as you guys see it's last potion of a minute and, and 7 seconds alright uh, moving on to a potion of swiftness I don't know I named the potion of speed alright uh, you need one sugar cane, uh, which is turning to sugar if you did not know that you're stupid again, like I said. Uh, sorry if this is a little insulting to you, but uh, you just thought it was a tough. Okay, so you just uh, get the olive potion and you just throw sugar in there, and then I'm going to do that to the one here, as you can explain. Um, the potion of uh, swiftness gives you three minutes as well. I, I think I did not study up the part of the video, so I just think I'm retarded right now. And you guys can just correct me in the comments. I'm just here to learn from, from the viewers and from Minecraft experts. Um, I even checked out Minecraft Wiki to see how, uh, how to brew these, but all they did was just give you uh, the names of the potions and what they did, so they really, they really didn't help, so I had to find out on my own, and uh, that's how I made this. Okay, so now that they're done brewing, you see that they are 3 minutes, and they help you with a lot of speed, and then the strength helps you with uh, mobs. So when you're attacked with mobs, uh, th that helps, and then the potion of speed is swiftness, is to help you run away from them, I guess. And the fire resistance is in case you go to the nether, and then uh, the gas shoots at you, and the blazes, and then when you go to lava, and then that is in case you lose life, and it helps you, and the instant potion of health is to help you. The night vision is to help you during the night to see mobs better, and the potion of invisibility, so uh, they won't see you, but I guess they'll still see you, you have armor on. Okay, so uh, we did not add the rest, but, oh we did, alright, so speed potion of 8 minutes. And as you guys see, it's just like uh, this one, it gives you the speed portion of 8 minutes and while that happens, I'm going to add these two uh, while I talk about it. And uh, so yeah, so it uh, turns into 8 minutes after it's done brewing. And it, I get, and it turns into 6 minutes as well when you uh, turn it into a uh, splash portion, which is doing right now. Uh, the speed is really good for, you know, just running and then also you have to like do a time set in like, uh, in, you know, Maps that are made, parkour maps, all that stuff, uh, which are used uh, really well. Um, I give uh, props to the people that make those maps because it, it takes, uh, you have to figure out how you're going to use it in a certain time or what courses you're going to need for what time. Okay, so now that they're done uh, brewing, you see that they're six minutes again and uh, you know they just work the same way. So I guess I'm just going to skip all of this and stop telling you, just showing you how to. Do them. Okay, so the potion of speed two, because we already had ten minutes. Potion of speed two, like I said, sugar canes, and this comes out every video. All right, sugar canes, and right there, 
and then it turns into sugar, all that stuff, and then you just add a dose into it, and gum powder. You just add dose into every single one. It makes it shorter, but it advances it to level two. And these are the, and strength, uh, swiftness, regeneration, spider, I mean poison, uh, instant damage, and instant health are the only ones that can be upgraded from Glossom. Alright, so uh, that, now that that's brewing, we just turn that into uh, a splash potion with gum powder, which you can get from killing creepers. Uh, if I didn't say that before, I'm sorry. But yeah, uh, I have it on peaceful, that's why you guys can see them up because they come on spawning in here. But uh, yeah, okay, so you get the gum powder from killing creepers, and then uh, they come in handy for that. And I'm probably gonna be uploading more videos uh, later uh, tomorrow, you guys. Not today, I can't today, it's already late. Okay, but so you guys, they did turn into splash potions. Alright, so moving on next to uh, potion of fire resistance. Uh, the fire resistance is uh, used for, you know, escaping into lava and all that stuff. And what you need is one blaze powder, which you get from the blaze rods. And you need one slab off of three slimes. And that gives you one ma magnet to, uh, make, to make all that stuff. So, you know, just put that in there. And uh, put that in there. If you guys have seen my earlier videos, I used a uh, fire potion, which I knew how to make from for my own brain, I don't know why I was going to put rest of in there, uh, but for my own brain in there, I, I did that, and you know, I came in handy because I did a, a map where you had to, and I'm just getting that for the future, uh, right now, uh, as you can see, gas tears for a portion of regeneration, and right now we're going to do that, sorry that I just skipped ahead, I just, I uh, really want to get this video short, uh, but still, anyway, okay, so now that the fire resistance is done, it's three minutes, just like the first, uh, two potions or first four to count the uh, number two, like I do. Um, you just add rest onto it, and then it's gonna be to eight minutes, which is uh, really great. And then once you add the gunpowder, it's gonna turn into six minutes, which is uh, you know really really great. Uh, you know, like if you're too lazy to drink it and hold uh, the right button, just like for so that, like get like, two or three seconds. Uh, you can just uh, hit it with the right click and just like it, it'll throw itself and all that. Alright, so just have it be with the gunpowder and I'll show you guys what's done. Alright, so moving on to the potion of regeneration. Now the potion of regeneration is going to have you kill uh, gas and you're going to have to get its tears. Um, Alright, and so I I guess that's the good thing about killing gas, even though they're not just because they're attacking you, but because of that too. And then uh, right here I'll send you the keys to have it uh, close like that. And also to these, uh, well these regenerate you, instead of uh, giving you the instant health like the instant health does, it uh, regenerates it for you, so uh, while you're fighting mobs and you have time to drink or or splash, like and you have enough time for, to splash, but you don't want to like splash instant health, like you don't want to waste it, you use one of these babies and it'll just, you know, just splash and then while you're killing them, it just regenerates you, the longer it is, the longer you're going to get regenerated, and you can just take out more mobs like blazes, and the uh, nether, no, the, wait, is it the, isn't it the nether, the nether witch? I don't know, whatever it is. Alright, so the potion of regeneration is 45 minutes, I mean 45 seconds, minutes. And then with, I believe with the rest of them, it gives it like an hour and 30 minutes. So, I got cops in the background. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Alright. Oh no, it's an ambulance. Okay. Um, so while that's cooking, uh, like I said, uh, potion of regeneration right here. Alright, so the same thing uh, goes for the other ones. Uh, in order to upgrade it, you just throw a bit of glow some dust, and since that's 45 seconds, I bet you it's gonna turn into. Damn it! Weather! Clear, and time set zero. Alright, um, so yeah, like I said in the other ones, uh, you need glowstone in, in order to do that, and uh, it's already finished cooking. You need glowstone in order to do that, and it just turns it into regeneration too, which is already done also. And it gives you 22 seconds instead of 45. I don't know why it cuts it just in half or more cuts in half. Or so. And see, look, it gives you 2 minutes of regeneration, so that's way better with the redstone than it was before. Okay, so right here, the gunpowder is going to turn it into a splash potion of regeneration, and it takes up 30 seconds, so you have a minute and 30 seconds of regenerating. Uh, I think that's better. Uh, then having a drink and just having the mob attack you while you drink the potion of regeneration. Alright, so moving to the potion of regeneration 2, I read through the glowstone dust in there and it, it turned into number 2, but it gave you 22 seconds. Now with the gunpowder, it'll chop down that in half 
probably into 11, but mostly into 16 seconds, which I just don't think that's bad because if it's two, it's probably gonna like like uh, regenerate you even faster. So like like uh, with potion of regeneration one, it's probably just gonna be like blue, 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 like the hearts. But then with this one, it's gonna be like, like just like, like that. Just uh, just line you up real quick, and it's already done brewing, and you'll see right here. So see, 16 seconds, it took out six, six seconds. And uh, you know that uh, you can choose whichever one you want, and that's just great. Uh, so, okay, so we're almost done with uh, half of the good ones, and we're gonna be moving into the bad ones upstairs. Sorry, this video is getting a little long, you guys, but it's for your information, and you guys are gonna thank me after this later. And thank you for watching this video. There are a lot of other videos that tell me how to do this, but this one goes through all of them in just one video. Uh, that'll be pretty long. Okay, so potion of instant health. Uh, you need uh, one watermelon and one gold nugget, which you get from killing pigmen in the nether, so that's also why you need an uh, instant uh, potion of regeneration. And you put those together and you get one glycerin watermelon. Okay, now the uh, you can't turn this into, you can't put redstone in this. I, I think, no, I, no, actually, no, yeah, you can't. Uh, one potion of instant help because it's just instant. It doesn't need redstone uh, for anything. Uh, so, yeah, put these glycerin watermelons in there uh, to that and then put the other one right there. Alright, so I'm just going to be doing this because it's similar. Alright, so now that the finished cooking, you guys see that it's just an instant health, that's it. Uh, it doesn't do anything, it could be splash potion or anything, it's not going to do anything, it's just giving you life and I think it just gives you life per of what it is, so if it's a splash potion, it'll probably give you like 4 hearts back or 5 hearts and then with number 2, it'll just give you like a big whopping upgrade and that's really uh, good for you guys and uh, you know, just upgrade that and upgrade that okay so um, let's continue with this alright so we are just waiting for this to, to done uh, oh look see that's really instant health and they work the same way with drinking it I say you take the splash potion in case you are really dying and you don't have time to drink it just go splash and then that's how you already uh, healed alright so now that you're done uh, cooking you see that the instant health too and just throw that in there and that will give you probably way more way more way more health than the other one not like, I'm not like I'm exaggerating a bit. Like just probably just double or just one more heart that it will give you, or just like fill you up with hearts. I don't know. I haven't used all of these potions yet, and like I'm about to burp, so that's why I kind of sound weird right now. Okay, so um, now that this is done, let's move into the potion of night vision. Now, potion of night vision uh, is part of the potion of invisibility, which people really really have trouble with. Um, of both of these because they always want to figure it out and what you need is one carrot and then you need uh, eight of gold nuggets which you get from the pigment so that gives you another reason to go and beat the shit out of them alright so you just get one golden carrot or two golden carrots right here and then you just get uh you just throw that in there it's gonna start it's gonna start boiling up and all that stuff and just throw that in there and then portion of invisibility you need also uh, golden carrots in order to make uh in order to make uh potions of of, uh, and the reason why you're gonna need that is because you're gonna need it for two hours for the next spider eye and right now and that's how you make it you make one spider eye a sugar and mushroom and that's how you make it i even checked myself i even tapped it on the crafting table i checked all of these before i made them so yeah you guys just have to make them so uh don't worry about it it's gonna be coming right or wrong and the video that i saw on how to make that uh the person in visibility uh was uh it was three months ago and there was updates and I don't know if that's gonna affect it. But yeah, okay, so we made a portion of night vision which was three minutes and uh, and the uh, rest one is gonna change that change that to eight minutes. Now right here we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna change this into rest on and we're gonna put one in each. Oh we're not I I don't think that yeah. Alright, so we're just gonna add the next spider eye, but after we're done with these, we uh, to show you guys what it looks like at the end. Alright, look see it's eight minutes and all you have to do is just throw that gunpowder in there and that'll turn it into six minutes but it'll be a splash potion and that'll be good and I'll, and I'll uh, just get one and show you guys how it's gonna be uh, so you guys uh, can see and also you guys can see in water battery uh, so let me just set the time right now it's like uh, time set uh, 14 hours alright so you can see how it's dark out there and right, like we're gonna get this potion uh, uh, this splash potion on my vision and we're gonna splash ourselves with it and look like, you see in the water better and then you see into into the night better. And if you guys don't believe me with how you guys see into it better, uh, if you guys do not recall, it was uh, darker. And I'm gonna get this milk so I can just drink it. And you guys will see. 
how, wow, gaming made a difference. But, you know, yeah, whatever. Alright, so moving on to the portion of invisibility. So now that these are done cooking, uh, you could just get the ferment spatter and just throw that in there. And that'll make it into por uh, portion of invisibility, which I did not know how that happens. I guess just uh, the spider, the permit spider, just makes you invisible to every single uh, thing. But you know that's because uh, you know fuck logic. Yeah, fuck logic. All right. So now that that's done brewing, we're just gonna throw that uh, redstone in there. Wait, wait for it. Yeah, see, portion of invisibility, and you're just gonna throw that redstone in there uh, right here too, and that'll uh, boost it up to uh, eight minutes. And you guys are gonna be able to last eight minutes right there, and I don't know what's going on with my computer that's just doing that noise. But that's gonna be eight minutes of you guys being invisible and just like you know fucking people up, and then they're gonna be like, "Dude, what the hell is that?" And you're gonna be like, "I'm invisible, motherfucker." And all that stuff. Uh, okay, so now that it's done, you guys see that it's uh, eight minutes of invisibility, and you throw that gunpowder so you guys can make it into a splash board. Now just to uh, just to make this uh, quicker. Okay, you just drink it, or you know, you splash it, and all of a sudden you become invisible. See that? All right, you guys. Um, uh, okay, just continue on. Put that back in there. Okay, so you guys see that it's that I returned to uh, splash fixing up level six. All right, uh, level six, uh, six minutes. Uh, we went uh, with that pretty fast. If you guys want to slow down the video and take your time, uh, I'm sorry I'm going uh, by this quick, but my last videos have been all. Uh, fast, I mean, all slow, all slow. If you guys saw my survival games the last two, for like 30 minutes each, uh, so we're gonna try to get through this quick. Alright, now going to the second floor is the potions of evil, which you guys can use to kill people in Hunger Games. They will give you the items, like spider eyes. I don't think they're gonna give you that, but uh, but they definitely are gonna give you sugar and no, I'm not sugar, I guess, uh, uh, like mushrooms. But okay, uh, potion of poison and potion of poison too. Now in order to make these, uh, of course that one you need kill stone and this one you need uh, rest stone because they last longer. So you just need to kill spiders and just get its eyes and then just throw it in there when you make the awkward potion. Like I said, I made it the doctor potion so we'll waste any time. And um, just get these also and just put that in there. Okay, so after they're done brewing, which this one is almost done, you get the rest stone and then you're gonna throw that out too. We're gonna get the wrestling right now, this one's in the way, which I'm kinda mad for it, but I just didn't have any room that could have made it bigger and be smarter about it, I was just too stupid. Alright, so now that this one's done, we're gonna throw it in there, and as you guys see, it's uh, uh, pushing the poison for 5 seconds. This is gonna turn into a minute 30, or 2 minutes, probably 2 minutes, and that'll just give it a better effect, and uh, for the glowstone dust, this one. Uh, turn, uh, it's gonna take it down to about 36 seconds, probably 37, uh, depending. And um, you know that's just out. That's just what's gonna happen. Okay. So right here, uh, the potion of poison is uh, right right there, transforming into uh, level two. All right. So just coming back to potion of po uh, potion of poison uh, number uh, one. Uh, turn into uh, two minutes, like I told you guys, and you, you, you just go get the gunpowder and turn into the splash potion. And I think my thing disconnected, which I yeah disconnected. All right, so um, just right here, just saying it back again. Um, just connecting. Probably my voice got uh, more fucked up, but it was my stupid ass fault for uh, putting my foot on the wire. Okay, so just continuing on from that, the splash motion turned into a minute and thirty. Uh, just cut th cut it by thirty seconds, turning it from two minutes right there. All right. So continuing to the portion of poison number two, you um, you add glowstone dust and turn it into 22 seconds out of 45, and uh, you just add gunpowder and then turn it to 16 seconds. Uh, it takes off uh, six seconds, and right there. Uh, so we'll just uh, wait for that to brew right now as we move on to the potion of weakness. Now the potion of weakness is pretty simple. All you need is just a fermented spot. Wow, really? I did not just do that. I meant, I meant to right click you guys, I'm sorry, I meant to, oh, I'm just so stupid right now, I meant to right click, okay, so we're just gonna throw that stuff in there, uh, but you guys, you guys get the gist of it, so all you need to do is just make a ferment spider eye, uh, which you only get one out of, and then, uh, you get that ready, uh, for, for the potion, so you just throw that in there, 
and it'll start brewing up and then you'll eventually get a, a portion of weakness which you can use. All of these you can just use to kill people that are just annoying you. If you invite someone to your land server and they're just destroying everything, just brew this up real quick if you have that item and then you know you just rage hell on them. Okay, so right here uh, it made the splash portion of 16 seconds and this one has it for uh, 30. Alright, so this one uh, just poisons you and it starts killing you slowly and slowly and this one will probably kill you more faster because it's you know, Alright, so a portion of weakness is brewing up and it's already done and it gives you a weakness of 1, one minute and 30 seconds which will probably give it to you in 3 minutes as soon as you add the redstone and you can add to turn this into number 2, that's slowness and that's the damage and the damage too. Alright, so uh, out of the uh, evil potions or bad potions, uh, the potion of poison and the instant damage, uh, oh no, uh, the army, I don't know what kind of instant damage, the army, potion of army uh, can only be up, uh, upgraded. Okay, so now that these are done, uh, there's four, wow, four minutes, whoa, someone really wanted to kill someone. Okay, so the, actually, this actually makes them weaker for you to kill, so you can just go like that, just uh, walk up to them, throw at them, or just give it to them like a dumbass of their noobs, and they'll be like, oh, what's this? It's like pushing on weakness. Like, yeah, it makes everyone else weaker to you. So, uh, and they're like, oh, well, it doesn't seem like that, isn't it strength? And you'll be like, no, it's, it's just something else, it's just something more extra that'll help you. Alright, so now, this is done and it's 3 minutes and it took a whole minute off of that. Alright, so, uh, moving on to uh, Potion of Slowness. Potion of Slowness is made, uh, you have to make a Potion of Slowness first, which you need a full sugar to do that. And, uh, just throw that in there. And, uh, after, after they're done brewing, which, uh, I can just skip right now, which I am gonna do, I'm just gonna pause into it. Alright guys, alright, I'm um, back and they're already done brewing. Okay, so, and that was pretty quick. Alright, so as soon as that turns into Potion of Swiftness, you just throw one for Mantis Spider Eye in there, and I guess it makes everything weaker since it was made for the Potion of Weakness. Um, okay, so th since it makes it weaker, it gives you uh, the Potion of Slowness. And so as soon as that happens, uh, as soon as this is done, um, uh, you know, brewing up, you just throw that rest in there and it'll, it'll give them more time of uh, slowness, and you know, you'll catch them up faster, you could just throw at them or just have them drink it. Uh, like I said, if you wanted to give them weakness and then slowness, like you could throw it at someone, make them slow, and then you just have them uh, throw it at their own stuff. And you know they're weak and slow, and then they're poisoned. So you know that's that's pretty evil in my book. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. Okay. Um. Uh. Right here, it's already done, and all you have to do is just throw that gunpowder in there, and it turns into a splash potion. And if you guys want to see it in action, oh god, I'm I'm uh, I'm gonna ruin all you. Alright, so, uh, if you guys want to see it in action right here, since it's already cleaning up. If you guys want to see it in action, uh, what it does, I'm on uh, invisibility right now, just 57 seconds left. Okay, so I'm drinking, uh, wait, no, wait. Alright, so I'm drinking it right now, and as I drink it, I'm slower than ever. I can't, I can't run as fast, uh, everything's just like so full view, and what I'm going to do right now, 3 minutes, I'm just going to drink some milk, get, get it over with, drink the milk. Alright, there, I'm back to normal. I just added that back in there. Alright, so now it, it's done, and it's 3 minutes instead of 4 minutes that it has been for. And now we're moving on to instant damage, and we're almost done with the video. Alright, so instant damage is made out of uh, the, the, uh, the instant health potion, because you know, instant health, instant damage, which is also arm, army potion. So, um, for Mental Spider Eyes, look for all of these, and i uh, just gonna throw that in there too. But the only difference, like I said before in the other ones, the only difference between number two and number one is that there's glowstone in there. And um, this is all that brood. Uh, this uh, instant damage does not need redstone to do that. It just needs powder and uh, it just needs uh, gunpowder and that needs to uh, glowstone dust and you know, gunpowder as well. Okay, so um, now that that's on brood, you guys see that's instant health. But uh, what it turns into evilly, it turns into uh, instant potion of harming. Uh, potion of harming, which all it needs just a ferment spider eye in order to brew. And so, as for this, uh, for these suits, I'm gonna do that uh, right here as well. Right there. Okay, so now that these two are already done brewing, you guys are gonna see how uh, you guys could just use them for evil as soon as that's already done with instant health and BAM! Instant potion of harming. Alright, so we just throw that gunpowder in there and it'll stop purple, which is, uh, comes from the ferment spider eye. And I have to leave like in a couple minutes just to uh, pick something up. 
Uh, so after this video, I'm just gonna leave, and then I'm gonna upload it. And you guys are probably gonna see it by like uh, later time. And so we're turning it to half an hour, but you know, screw it. All right. So now that it's already done, do you guys see that it's already a splash motion uh, right now, and it doesn't do anything. It just does that. Okay. So now with the glowstone dust and the glowstone powder, which I should have done in the beginning, uh, it just updates it into number two, and it doesn't really do anything. It just you know it just makes it more harmful. Which I think if you guys play Super Trap Rolls, this is what they use and then they rename it Bombs. And then so as soon as that's done, I'm just gonna throw the gunpowder in there and it's just gonna you know, do that. Uh, this, part is, uh, this video is gonna be really long, but I hope you guys stick with me and whoever just stay with me right now. Um, I thank you guys and I hope you guys subscribe uh, as soon as this video is done. I hope you guys subscribe to watch more of what I do. I might, I might do another how to video. And I'm going to do a mod showcase of, on these other potions that uh, came with this mod that I have of, of uh, I think it's a Gullivar mod. I see in beginning and then smallening and you guys are going to see that after. Alright, so now that these are done with instant damage too, they cause even more damage and more disruption and, you know, potions that we go right here. Alright, so let's, uh, this is where the video ends and uh, thank you guys for watching. Click that like and that subscribe button if you enjoyed the commentary and, uh, you know, want to see more of what I do. And I and uh, me with my other friend YouTubers and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, you guys, um, this has been Snagas Twenty One on Minecraft, and I will see you later, guys. Bye.